Hello, 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 folks. Welcome to another evening stream of my time at Porsche. It is Thursday and it is just past 7 UK time, starting a bit early compared to my schedule. But I'm home and I'm relaxing in Porsche. And as my stream title says, Dear Diary, it is winter. I'm still struggling. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm having fun in Porsche. Um, I love the fishing mini game, and at the moment I've got achievements to chase in terms of um, all the house upgrades that I could be making. Um, I've already gotten all the land upgrades. I've got the tree farm fully upgraded. Um, I've not got the mine fully upgraded yet, but uh, I'm making progress. Um, I'm doing the Harbour Quest in terms of the campaign progression, um, which is currently a paddle boat, which I believe as of yesterday, I had a um, aluminum plate shortage. So, hopefully... It is magically sorted because I left it going overnight and while I was fishing and fishing is sort of my late in the day activity after I've done all the commissions that I can so you'll see I've got a fair bit of fish and hopefully it's a good market price today and I can sell some fish and not to bankrupt everyone so I've got three kingfish Loads of high value fish and then a bit more normal fish as well. So, let's see. First of all, check if everything is hunky dory on my farm. All the trees look happy. And when I say the trees look happy, I'm talking about that. Um, that they're growing, there's something in there, and there's that little green smiley face, which just means that they have been receiving fertilizer. Which is fine. Dried apple slices is going. Oh, I can top up this one before it drops down further. And yep, that's pretty good. And let's go and pick up some stuff that our good buddy Ack. Is Petra coming to talk to me? No. Uh, how much aluminum plate did I just get? I got 12. I think I need something like 20. So it's a fair bit. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What that just happened? Fish sub viewed by Petra. Relationship plus 31. So even though she didn't come to talk to me, I put a nice little uh, distracting relic there. Which she couldn't help but stop and admire. Put those stuff away. More copper. <gasps> copper. So I was thinking I needed to go back to the mines to get more copper. But I've also just signed up for um, one of the uh, mining deliveries and upgraded that to something. So hopefully I should start seeing some... Uh, return from the mining deliveries let's see over here can do some more stuff let's see i can always use more resin and what else the more resin
Hello, Ak. I can stay here all day. At Hi. his girlfriend, Lara. Uh, hello, Ak. has been asking me a lot about the structures of the past. But since I lived in a big mansion, and didn't go out much until I was uplifted to the space station, I really don't know much. Okay. How about a gift? I hear you like engines. He does! Relationship plus 15. Amazing. Amazing. Let's see. 163 worn fur left. I could use some delicate fur and then leather. So let's make some delicate fur. So stack it up. So worn fur. Then more delicate fur. Okay, no. On my second one. Delicate fur. And on um, this one is quality leather. Yeah. Let's make it. Let's make it. And how's this going? So this is one thing that I'm still not sure of what it's actually going to do. Because it's an apple tree, right? But it was planted from a seed from the mysterious salesman. Which is why the icon's like a little question mark mysterious seed like this one which is a layered carrot and that I can understand because that's um, one of those vegetables or produce you can um, use for the um, autumn festival competition but uh, not sure about the apple tree okay uh, let's see I want to pick up some fish food to make sure my fish are fed and I've picked up the stone so I can exchange it for wood. Always useful um, to do the ANG construction recipe. To get some more uh, more wood. And I'm sort of casually breeding some fish in here that I can occasionally sell. So I've got four. The tank's capacity is only about five. But it will um, go over uh, in one breeding session if it's at the same time uh, and this is all kingfish and when I've got um, or when they've been in the same tank and fed for eight days they will breed um, a new fish of the same level and type for um, each pair of fish that was in there so because I've got four I expect new two new kingfish every eight days in this one and two new in this one Having said that, um, this one is a slightly different story. This is a bigger fish tank, so this is the maximum size fish tank. Um, I'm also breeding fish in the air, but what I'm trying to get to, um, this one has a higher capacity. It's got capacity of 20. But what I'm going to use the fish for is not to sell necessarily, but to make the ACK recipe, which is a permanent plus one health. Um, so quite expensive recipe, but it's a permanent buff. Um, so in my head is definitely worthwhile to um, start planning that. I don't think I'm up to 20 fish yet. Um, I think I'm 8 or so. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. <laughs> um, but it can go up to 20, so it can get quite busy in there. Um, let's see. Aluminum plate. I think need a few aluminum plates. So th let me talk to Ak quickly. So if you go to his um, number one, you give him um, all kinds of upgrade, cooking recipe upgrades as well, um, which all these chips you can get either from mining the abandoned dunes or um, you can buy them at the research center. And once you've got those chips installed, you get this icon um, and he will cook you stuff. So he's got some recipes and all your recipes that you've learned he will have as well so you can do bulk cooking with him here um, of your own recipes or also bulk cooking of his recipes and the one that I'm trying to get to in terms of fish breeding is this king salmon fillet which is max hit point plus one permanent um, and then later if I can get another big fish tank like that I'm gonna try and go for bubble fish king uh, I'll have to farm them um, but then, once I've got the first few 
uh, or the first pair at least, I can start that breeding program to get this recipe going as well. Because um, the other ingredients are fairly cheap and standard ingredients. It's just the, the kingfish that's the expensive one. Um, but yeah, that's later in the game. At the moment, I'm doing a couple of things. So I am uh, crafting a bunch of relics. I've already made sure that my in-house upgrades in terms of the stat bonuses has um, is capped. I think I've still got one more house upgrade left to house level 4 um, which I'm fish farming for and selling the fish to get 100,000 goals because that's expensive but then I'm also doing relics and random old items from the assembly station to actually um, uh, donate to the museum because the museum got that thing that you can donate and they give you every few levels or few items that you donate they give you like a special item and I am slowly hoarding those items because I want the bonus item which is I think a recipe um, for 30 items donated um, so this one says large relic so this is the text that I'm looking for on these items so medium assembled item can be placed in the museum. Large relic can be placed in the museum. So anything that can be placed in the mu museum, I'm going to try and hoard here. Um, but only ac really accept one, even though this is a stack of eight. Um, I'm going to donate this to the museum and then hopefully get that recipe, which is the... I think it's called the safety box, which is a um, also a 60 item storage, like helper storage. So this is 60 items, so two tabs, um, 60 items of storage but not accessible by the helper because one of the things that have happened to me, right, is, let me just put this back, um, I've got the feather dusted um, and I'll show you in the pen of animals. Uh, let's pet the animals, make them happy. Pet the animals, make them happy. Um, in the feed, right, you have to feed your animals. You can give them different kinds of feed. And Ak will actually um, give some of this feed to the animals. Which is why there's actually some aroma apples um, in there. I didn't realize growth points. <gasps> That might be why you was feeding them aroma apples. I was saying uh, um, my aroma apples are too valuable in terms of apple slices, um, the, the dried apple slice production, so I don't want it to be fed to the animals. But if there's um, some sort of bonus, I might start looking for some other ingredients because I just didn't want to put that aroma apple item in a uh, storage that I can actually access because I think he was feeding the animals that and um, that's like no that's my special ingredients <laughs> um, but yeah I'm slowly learning this is my I only my second playthrough of the game and the previous playthrough I didn't have any coop or shed stuff so I'm learning that aspect of it um, and my previous playthrough was only about I think I'm actually catching up um, so I'm in month 4 of year 1 and I think my previous playthrough I only got to like the start of the second year so not even the next fishing thing just basically the start and then my old PC crashed and everything got messed up and I had to restart. Uh, let's make sure everything stopped up. Okay, Fuel is stopped up. That's the other thing that Ak also does for you. He will go um, once you've given him the right chip he will actually refuel your items, uh, your furnaces, so you don't have to keep doing this um, topping up or you won't get the fuel depleted as long as he's got access to that um, fuel storage place. Uh, let's do charcoal. I think I was doing charcoal, but just have exhausted. Let's see, hard aluminum. I've also set my game speed to the slowest setting, which you can get at in your options menu. 
there's this in the game settings there's game speed I think the default is actually the far right so the 100 setting but I prefer the 50 which just means the in-game daytime passes much slower um, so it allows you to get more done in the day so let's just top up all my furnaces Yeah, and lots of carbon steel bar production because uh, that's used in great quantities for a lot of things and it's actually quite slow to be produced on the on the furnaces so I'd like to have a, a big um, number of furnaces churning that out parallel production baby parallel production <laughs> Let's see. carbon steel more carbon steel Deal. And there's a few items for example I'll show you on the work table and uh, there's a few items that will chow through my stack stockpile that you can make like instantly and um, one that comes to mind is the steel frame um, uses carbon steel bars and they just chow through that stockpile super quickly it's good to have anyway because a lot of um, let's say production stuff requires steel frames And generally, I'm just all of these furnaces are now just producing stockpile items. I don't have anything besides the aluminum plates that I'm urgently waiting for for the paddle boat. Um, I will go show you what I'm actually talking about in terms of the paddle boat um, requirements for plates. Uh, mining resources, sorry, I was keeping one in my inventory for um, going to the um, so here's one thing for example that I've just produced um, on the automated assembly that I'm going to put in the museum because I've already got one and this is one thing that I've not found a bulk use for uh, in terms of not um, having to use more than one because uh, the items that it can produce is not that valuable. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, let's see. Uh, so I wanted to show you the paddle boat, right? So the paddle boat is in my index. Paddle boat, this one. So requires aluminum plate time, so 20 by itself, and I'm I'm up to 18 now. However, it also requires paddles which requires another 10 aluminum plates so I'll require 30 aluminum plates between the two I've got this, I've got this, I've got this it's just a aluminum plate now I'm a bit short on it so I can't do that quite yet however having said that I can do something else so I want to do another thing that I can donate to the museum and I'm not sure if a water tank counts mm. I can build it, it's cheap to build. Um, and if, if not, um, yeah, because some items don't actually tell you that you can donate to the museum. Uh, for example, one of the things that I'm salty about is um, the DD vehicle, the DD transport. It doesn't actually say you can donate to the museum. Even though I've got it, I'm gonna test and see if it goes anywhere. But at the museum, it will also tell you if there's no space to donate it. So I've had some painting paintings where they said, "Oh, you can't actually donate that." But this one does say small item artwork, so it should be able to be donated. So let's go and get some commissions and exchange those stone for wood. Hey, Mint's waiting for something. Hello. Hmm. Hi. I wonder if there's a nice napping spot on Starlight Island. So they all now saying things about the Starlight Starlight Island quest, which is this paddle boat thing as well. Um, is the harbor store open? Just wondering, because the harbor store's got some special stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it is open. Let's give him a gift. He likes Thank roses. Thank you so much. I really like it. Roses is kind of the default gift that a lot of people like and give you like plus 10 points for. 
So it's almost at like a safe bet. Uh, AMG construction. Exchange some. Market price is 89. Um, that's alright for fishing. Um, cancel. Um, what did I want? I wanted this. Um, yeah, so what I'm looking at is 89%, which means my 5000 um, is instead of 100%, which is the 5000 for the fish, it's 89% of that. So you lose some money on that. But uh, because the stores are actually, um, they've got limited purse strings. You can't sell that much or too much stuff to them in one go or on one day. So you have to either spread it out over different days or just sell to all the stores. And um, yes, so this is the uh, indicator that I'm losing by selling it today. I'm losing 568 compared to normal market price. But it varies, so some days I'll sell it for 120% and other days it's 89%. So I'm not too upset about it, because um, they've they've got the purse of about 17,000 per day. Um, so I'm still emptying their purse. <laughs> so they can buy as much fish, fish as they can s stomach from me. Um, but yeah, that's quite a lot of fish, uh, but they're giving me all their money. Hey. Buy that, those fish. So it's still fair. Uh, let's see. Do you have a recipe? What do you want to learn today? I have a few dishes to share with you. See which one you want to hear. Sugar as an ingredient, egg as an ingredient, or cinnamon as an ingredient. How about the cinnamon. The wise choice. I have a dish called tasteless broth. To make it, all you need meat and cinnamon. Um, for those who haven't done cooking, tasteless broth is sort of the default meat anything dish. Um, which uh, doesn't actually give you any advantages. <laughs> Let's see. I also... Ah, why did I leave? I wanted to give him a gift. I'm slowly working up my uh, social status of the different characters in the game um, based on just who I want to uh, impress the most. Everyone's talking about the thief. Could it be the bandy rats again? The bandy rats? I don't think so. How about some paper flower? I heard you like paper oh, flowers. This is something special, my friend. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> so what actually happened for me to learn that is... I think at buddy status or associate status, maybe a buddy status, uh, they occasionally come up with this... Um, let me show you outside. But they come up with this red circle thing across on the minimap that says they've got a special request or a wish. Um, which looks like... Have I got somebody that's got it? Uh, no. But they come up like the characters here. This is because I'm friends. I can see them on the minimap. Um, but if they've got like a special wish or a special request, they will have like a little red circle around their character portrait. Or not even the portrait, just on the map itself. And um, then they will tell you, oh, I would really like this. And if you give it to them and they actually do like it, then it goes into their preferences tab. So it went into paper flower. And it's also asked for a pot of steer, which I would not have guessed randomly. Because <laughs> like, it requires special ingredients to actually make. Um, and I'm receiving a discount. That's the other thing. The, the one person that I would recommend people go for in terms of uh, relationship perks is actually Gale. Because he loves or gives you 10% discount when purchasing land. So when I did my last um, land purchase, the big one, I already had the in good friend status, which is 25% discount. And the last land upgrade is... Normally, without any discount, it's 250,000 goals. But with the 25% discount, that goes down to 187,000. So you save about 62,000 goals um, by having um, reached this friendship level. And here's a few um, 
things that I like, special salmon fried rice, um, the painting kitty which is sold by the mysterious salesman and tea table which is the one that you can make right from work table level one um, and this is the cheapest in terms of ingredients uh, yeah so that's Gail um, and Emily um, who's gonna hopefully be my BFF one day, BFF forever in terms of relationship uh, but I'm still saving that up for some later stream uh, let's go and see oh, a few other people I want to give gifts to Nora I've got a Hello. gift that she loves I'm glad we were able to settle our dispute with the research center me too that was threatening to get ugly now about a crystal hourglass wow I've always wanted this thank you I'm so happy yes. Okay, let's pick up a commission. Let's see. As long as it doesn't require aluminum plates, I'm happy. <laughs> Talk to Antoine. Antoine! Hi! Hi! Emily said she might have seen this macho thief. We've told the civil corpse about it already. <gasps> Emily said so. I need to go and talk to Emily. What does he like? Does he like roses? Is that? He does like roses. I like it. Nice. I think actually that's the first time I tried to give him roses. Let me check. Social. But most everyone will actually accept roses as a something that they like. Let's talk. Yeah, see I haven't actually gotten him into one of the first few. So he's become my buddy now. And he loves roses. Surprise. Buddy, receive an extra 3% in goals after fish finishing a commission. <gasps> Maybe I should actually up the relationship with him. Uh, I've already got in terms of character. I have this one which is uh, commerce, commerce Hotshot. Increase the workshop points by 4 and rewards by 20% after completing each commission. So it's both XP and goal, goals. Let's see. So I'm just going to blow my nose. Let's see. Uh, Toady needs three waterproof cloths for 1000 goals, 120 XP, 102. Let's see. What's this? I t tend to go for the higher marked um, category. So the D's I typically just leave alone because that's way down on the reward. Um, unless it's for somebody that I want a relationship um, bonus with. But mostly I'll go for the higher value. What does she want? Three war lamp for Lucy. I'll actually do this. No, totally. Uh, it's about the same. I'll do this one. War lamp. Hello, Hi. Brucey. Hi. I hope we catch the thief soon. We don't need a reputation here in Porsche. It's bad for business. Indeed. Indeed. Must protect our property. Let's see. Spariza is. 3,000 head. Let's go and do wall lamp. I think... Do I have wall lamps? I did produce a bunch for uh, making sure I got all the commissions. Uh, Emily, wait, wait. Hi. Hi. I don't know if it's related, but I think I did see someone in a hood jumping over the city wall when I was returning from Sonia's place the other night. I thought I was imagining things. Hmm. Somebody in a hood. Let's see. Mm. Do you like pumpkin pie? That smells too good to eat. Amazing. Uh, oh, that was it. Let's go and sell a few more fish. And buy roses. Hey. I tried to support Alice and get some roses. I can find on Starlight Island. Oh, that would be cool. Would you like a crystal necklace? I've always wanted this. Thank you. I'm so happy. Amazing. Buy some roses. Not sure what this actually does. Lucky color. 
Red paper of ancient word for lucky. Max stamina plus two. I bought a bunch of them the first time I saw them, but then realized like almost all the stores have it actually, and it's not that uncommon. Um, so it might just be a seasonal thing. Let's see. How much can she buy? I've also realized, and this I didn't realize in my previous playthrough, that um, at the beginning it's only these three stores that, uh, actually four stores that buy fish, which is um, the round table, which is Django's place, it's Martha's Bakery, Total Tools, and Sophie's Farm Store, uh, which at the beginning of the game uh, is the stores that buy fish. Uh, but once you've unlocked uh, South Block, which I have, South Block also um, also buys fish. So let's just go to Sophie's farm and sell some more fish. Now the other thing I like about the game, right? This is now winter, and the whole lane landscape's changed. The skin for the land. So it's all now white and there's no, um, in terms of normal se seasonality, there's like wheat fields here. Um, or in all the other seasons besides winter, there's wheat there, but not during winter. This is cute. I've actually built that into the game. Let's see, farm store. Oh, interact. Emily loves my home cooking. Maybe you can come over for dinner sometimes. Thanks, Sophie. Kind of you to invite me. I will consider it. Uh, let's see. I wanted to sell you some fish. But. So here's the other tactic I sometimes use, right? Specifically just for Sophie's farm store. Because she's got so many different ingredients that you could also use. Um for various other things, foods and recipes and stuff, um, is to actually first buy what I want. So I'm down to 648, so I might get 300 lure. And now her stockpile has gone up, uh, or her purse has gone up. I'm going to sell all my fish that I can to her. So I might um, buy a few different things that give her a bit more money so she can buy more fish back from me <laughs> so I give her the money to buy my fish so I can get the money back and have some other stuff <laughs> let's see uh, I've got this small blonder box okay I think that was it not too much inspiring I think I've got most of the other stuff anyway yeah, that's right so my goals is now 41,000 and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to South Block and then we'll see how much I can sell there. They've got a slightly bigger purse, they've got thir about 13,000. Not quite as big as Round Table, but they can buy at least two Kingfish if they still had Kingfish. Um, which the smaller stores, store, smaller stores can't actually buy from you. Uh, did I speak to Sam yet? I did not speak to Sam today. Hey! Oh, Sam. I'm being a lot more focused on my patrols. Remy thinks that it's someone from Portia. That's a dark thought, but we can't dismiss it. Understood. Would you like some shrimp and cheese on rice? It really is a nice present. Thank you. You're welcome. I was here at. Let's go to uh, May and Wuwa. Or is it is it May and Wuwa? Is he there? Newspaper guy. Get confused between the brothers. Who's doing what? Asteria. Some dragon heart. And it tells some fish. Uh, for your information, this is also the place where you can buy your chainsaw for the first time. I think you can buy a drill from the harbor. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's see. So, here's the other thing. If I still had a bunch of fish left, 
and it's a day like today with lower market price. I might buy some of these. I might actually just go for it anyway. Um, not sure about these. Uh, do I want this? Yeah, let's go for one. Um, because this is the only place where you can get these items. They're a bit expensive. Um, which is why you'd want to do it on a day that's cheaper market price. But uh, I'm alright for today. Uh, yeah, it's the only store that sells those. So it's where you can get it in bulk and they've only got it in limited quantities. Uh, let's see, cotton. Do I want to sell some cotton? No. Duck? No. Higgins orders acquired. <gasps> Higgins is fulfilling the duck commission. Interesting. So this is the other thing that I've not quite gotten to the bottom of what the purpose is, right? I can do maybe linen. I think it's like an end game strategy to get more um, rep points because I think it gives you rep points as well as goals, but in terms of your um, actual production whether you've got that much production of a specific item so linen if I had um, this is produced from the sisal seed that the church sells the linen so I've had that for I think a couple of um, harvests in autumn because it's only an autumn seed um, which is why my stock is now high because it's just after autumn but that's the only source I, this stock has to give me the whole um, winter spring summer till next autumn before I can grow some more uh, so I'm not quite sure uh, if this is actually an early game strategy of or late game I, I suspect it's late game when you've got super production and there's not much going on elsewhere um, for example I might build another um, say I build another coop and another shed and then got what 8 so 16 spaces for um, ducks and chicks uh, or chickens and if I've got another shed that would be 24 spaces for cows or um, cows or sheep and you can also either do the milk and eggs thing from them or sell them by themselves so it's all a, a bit um, in the air for me at the moment I've, I've done it once or twice um, not in this play, playthrough in a previous playthrough um, like this I've got I think two ap apricot trees and I don't really use the apricots for anything else so I could fulfill this um, commission if you can call it that um, yeah I'd rather have the stockpile at the moment <laughs> we can actually do this commission wall lamp wall lamp let's go and see Wall lamp. Hmm. Wall lamp, I think. Let's check. Wall lamp seventy one. I only need three. Ah, yeah, it's the fence plus four. I did the bunch of them for, for the house uh, when I was trying to cap the different items. And that goes to uh, Lucy? Let's see. I think it's Lucy. Audit! Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. So Dawa finally asked Dana on a date. They seem to have really hit it off. Nice. Yeah, the goss in the hey. town. I haven't seen anyone suspicious around. I'll be sure to report to the Civil Corps when I do, though. Thanks. Uh, would you like a talisman? How thoughtful of you. I really like it. Amazing. Thanks, Audit. That's right. 
Uh, sorry for running over you with my horse. Um, and this goes to Lucy, yeah. Who is in there? In the school teaching kids. Sorry, sorry to barge into your lesson. Sorry, sorry. Here's some some lamps, ma'am. It's my homework. Commission D, thank you. <laughs> Have we talked to the kids? You can come into school and talk to kids randomly, right? Uh, at the end of the apocalypse kind of makes the first world problems of child predators not so fun of mine. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to be one of my later, later things if I actually I ever want to. Act, voice actor Dolly? Wow. What about Molly? Molly, Dolly and Polly are uh, Mars and Carol's kids. Sam said nothing's wrong and we don't have to worry about a thing, but we can all send some tension in the air. Why are you looking at me? I didn't break it, I swear! <laughs> ah, brilliant. Jack and I went over to explore the Western Heights the other day. It was quite fun. I felt like an adventurer. Jack was complaining the whole time, though. Ah. Uh, so he's friends with uh, Django, and he's getting sword lessons from Django. So it's a bit of a adventurous trick in him. While Jack is uh, Alice's brother. I was hoping we didn't have to go to school until the pipe was fixed. And uh, Alice is okay, a bit of a protective camp. of Jack. I don't know if I should. <laughs> he seems a bit of a sketch take risks kind of kid. Nice that they've got that kind of angle in the game as well. I like the personalities of the characters. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do? Mango. Is that more plates? More plates? Any? No. Uh, how's this coming along? This is uh, corn balls. Well, rainbow flowers almost there. Okay. This is there. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, open doll. We covered. I might have enough to actually go to the museum and donate stuff. Sort all and museum. I'm just trying to get this box full um, of good stuff for the museum. So, but I think I've donated. Um, how much did I donate? I donated to get the uh, this relic machine, which I think was ten items. Uh, let's see, it's built a water tank. I'm not sure if I can donate this. Let's see. This is a very basic thing, so I'm not sure. Yeah. The water tank does not count. Let's again put the water tank just randomly over here. Can I put it here? I cannot put it here. Can't actually put it down. That's a bit annoying. Uh, okay. Can I put it randomly in items and gifts? Maybe somebody will like it. So water tank is a different name. Uh, let's see. What else I can produce? Not water tank. DD stop I've got a few of anyway. Uh, pipe power blender removable battery. Check. Uh, marble power stone spring. I can build that. Build one. Uh, it is four. Let me check the calendar. Because I don't think I've got a open a license for any. <gasps> ah. See, I was about to go do something. Good thing I checked my calendar. Because sometimes I start things late afternoon and completely forget about late afternoon dates. Which is why when I when I actually choose the time of the date, I try to do it early in the morning. So it um, gives me that pop-up before I'm doing something else. 
Tomorrow's Nora's birthday. Oh, that would be so amazing. The thing about birthdays, if you give them a gift on their birthday, when is my birthday? Oh, that's so special. Um, when you give them a gift on their birthday, you get times three the normal re uh, relationship points from that gift. And because Nora's the only one that I've actually got a plus 18 gift for in normal terms, it's 18 times 6, so it's going to be plus 56, so it's a huge thing for Nora. Um, what, why I also got this excited gasp for my birthday is on your birthday, random people in town come and drop gifts outside your workshop which is really nice to get a bunch of random stuff always appreciate it uh, Porsche Townsend <gasps> military uniform pants that's gonna be good and 10,000 goals nice um, yeah let's go and see if Albert's early for his date uh, or play date uh, it's 6 so I think typically they start around 4-ish 2 hours until play and mine a few things on this island. Uh, do this. Do this. While I'm while I'm waiting. Okay. These big rocks give me either bloodstone or uh, marble. There's some good ingredients that I l like from them. Let's see. Or no, not that one. This one. Okay, I think on this side there might be a few crystal rocks as well. Yep, there we go. One. Okay. And uh, let's do a few cheese. Get some iron wood if I can. Or hardwood. Or both. The danger with all these mobs around is that I uh, accidentally aggro the mobs and then I have to kill them. Yeah, got some iron wood. They randomly run in front of my axe or chainsaw. Or three of them around this. It's almost like, hey, let's just actually hit you and get you out of the way. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. You are in my chainsaw range. Not usually that aggressive. <laughs> Pick up some resin. Sparkly resin. What's this? Can I? No. Too small. Too small. Oh, there's a stump that I can also chainsaw. Ah, Albert's waiting. Good. Quickly go over there. Yeah, I think if you're like more than a minute late or something, um, your date is cancelled. It says unexpectedly ended, which have happened a few times when I go to the wrong location or completely forget about it. Okay, let's talk to Albert. So, Albert. Hey! Hey! Shall we play? Anything in mind? I'll follow you. Let's do this. Where? There is, on this island, I don't do this very often, there is this um, game of drawing things in the sand. Want to doodle in the sand here? Yeah? Doodle in the sand. I would like you to draw, draw the sun. I'm not really good at this, so. Let's see. Countdown. Is how much time? So I've got 40 seconds. Uh, the image imagined image is already on the sand. Trace it to doodle. When you trace the image, the imagined image, it will appear on the sand. Okay. Like this. Yeah, it's uh, kind of hard for me. It's not a very reactive like this. It's like, oh, what's going on here? It should have been like probably three or four circles if you can do proper circles in this game. Oh, missed it, missed it. And then he ranks how, how good your uh, image looks compared to what he had in mind. Oh, so close! Ah, actually done it. 
That's actually the first time I've done it. So from 4 to 17. Uh, he's not that impressed. Let's go to town where I know I can do stuff. If you have fireworks, which you actually need an, ing an ingredient for, you can also do fireworks. Um, it might also only be like in the evening when it's actually dark. So, well, let's go and do the stuff that I know I can do. Like this. Can we play here for a while? Play on the seesaw. Three action points. Yay! So the uh, date or play play and date system is uh, something you could actually use the suit that you buy from the church for. I think Carol has a few items as well that gives you plus action points. It's for this play, play date that you can actually do more during the date. Uh, so you can actually get a more relationship points, um, I believe, if you do more stuff. Oh, so close. That was so fun. From 19 to 39. Okay. Let's go and see... Seesaws. No, swings. Swings. Want to play on the swings here? Sure. Turn one. Swing in rhythm with me. Whee. Yeah. High five. Can you keep time with me? This time. Nice high five. From 45 to 63. Okay. Let's go and chat under the wishing tree. The other thing that's also okay to do is um, actual eating at Django's. It just takes a bit of time to actually do. These are easy and straightforward for me, so I, I actually prefer these. But Django's you can also do. I just got back from Sandrock. They're suffering a real water shortage there right now. What to do next? How about compliments? What should I say? So you young, handsome and rich. You must be living the good life. You say that, but the one in my heart is all but ignored me. He's got a crush on uh, Ginger. Uh, did a few quests for him early in the game to uh help him try and get into her good graces. I haven't heard what's actually happened about that. But another compliment. You're very stylish. Come now, I'm not that stylish. In fact, I try to keep a casual style so that people don't know that I'm well off. <laughs> okay. That's all the action points I've got time for today. Plus 26. Play with Albert Wings. I had a great time. You should hang out again soon. Sure. Talk to my back. <laughs> Uh, let's go and see how the aluminum plate... I don't think I would have had 10 in that short amount of time. But I can drop some items off and then I can probably go and fishing some more. Do some more fishing. Uh, 4 and 4. Nah. I was um, at 18, so the 4 extra ones only takes me to 26 and I need 30. Yeah, I need 30. Let's top up everything. Uh, I'm going to take some steel plates, top that up as well. And over here is aluminum plate. More aluminum plates. And maybe I can make one more of these. Uh, which is the comprehensive cutter, I think. Uh, okay, the museum is already closed, but I'm, I think I'm at the level where I want to give them some gifts. So, I'll put that in the museum. Tab, museum stuff. Yeah. So I think with the item that I've just built on the assembly machine, which is a battery, I think I can donate the battery. Let's see. Donate battery. Yeah. Small assembled item. Sweet. Okay. Uh, museum stuff. I am going to kick off one more thing and fish display probably. Build. Yes. Uh, kick off a fish display, go fishing, 
and then the next in game day I will actually go and donate that to the museum as well as finish the paddle boat commission yeah I've got this favorite fishing spot up in the desert, desert oasis area uh, which gives nice reward rewards it's the wise fish and gladiator fish that bite there uh, as well as golden salmon but that's the only three kinds of fish uh, and two of them are worth 300 each or thereabouts so it's a very lucrative fishing area so this little spot that I've actually marked with the blue map icon which is this map icon next to next to the fishing spot so the blue just shows up on my mini map as well so I always run in the right direction let's just top up stamina okay let's do a bit of fishing hold on just need to blow my nose again apologies Let's do fishing. It's a good way to make money in the game, or for me at least. There's a few other options that um, I might do later. So, the fish breeding itself um, as an option to make money. Um, you can, I think, once you've got the drill, um, actually sell a fair amount of um, mining related stuff to. Uh, ANG construction because they they'll buy raw ingredients, but you can also uh, convert some of that to um, items that sell for a lot. Um, I think one of the items that I saw that was actually worth like 2,500 is the dining room table, uh, which I believe you get from South Block, the recipe. Um, but the ingredients for that is something like 40. 40 of water planks or something so as long as you've got the the production line set up going that's another option and that's something that ng construction would buy they, they will buy furniture um, typically um, there's also an item that i've uh, or a building that i've not had the opportunity to do a lot with um, in my previous playthrough which is the factory uh, but i believe the factory actually helps your automation way more than a lot of other things so um, stuff that if you have to manually do items one by one like on the assembly station for example your uh, uh, factory um, will help a lot sorry not the assembly station because your automatic assembly helps with that but um, for your work table if your input items for a work table item is actually uh, from a machine that takes time that's where your factory helps because you can combine different um, I want to say underlying machines to produce the ingredients for the thing that you're actually producing so say the di dining table and it requires hardwood planks then you actually say and this is my understanding I might be um, misunderstanding how it works but my understanding is that you put in a cutter that produces the hardwood planks and then you can specify to actually produce dining tables if it's only that one ingredient if it's two ingredients say it requires say let's think um, carbon steel bars then you need a industrial furnace so you've got an industrial furnace and a cutter and it produces the two items that then you can use for the dining table but you say you specify um, I want um, dining tables as the output and, and as long as you've got the underlying machines in the factory it will basically produce that output it might take a bit longer but it's something that's auto that you can automate a lot better with the factory two kingfish wow in, in a row this one I won't sell though because this goes into my breeding fish king 
breeding kingfish tank which is golden salmon tank at the moment Oh, didn't need that either. But it's alright. Yeah, if, if fish don't bite in 3 bites, I think, then you start um, risking losing your lure and having 2 recasts. But it's 3, three or 4 bites. I've, I've occasionally seen 5 as well. Um, but that's usually when you get a dud in between, like a um, shell necklace was one of those type of dud catches. Yeah, the wise fish is worth 320 and the gladiator fish is about um, 280 I think. And then the occasional chance to catch the kingfish as well. Which makes this a lucrative fishing spot if you on the slow speed and you've got time left in your day. I would definitely recommend you start doing some fishing. It's very relaxing as well. At the end of a long day of work. I, I want to do the relaxing stuff, uh, not be too stressed about what to do in a game. It's like, oh, just go fishing. That's great. Talking about relaxing gameplay, right? I'm thinking for the next game, if I've managed to actually finish the campaign in this game, I'm going to play, continue playing this till I finish the campaign uh, with a break for Path of Exile's next release. Um, but the next game after I finish this would be um, Firewatch. I got it in the Steam Summer Sale. And uh, I think Firewatch is again one of those atmospheric type games uh, from what I've read. I've not actually seen that much gameplay. It's one of those atmospheric where you're trying to solve some mysteries and stuff. Um, but the whole concept is you're in a... Um, fire watchtower in some remote American location basically watching over forest and hills and stuff to watch out for fires um, and your only communication with other people is like a walkie talkie <laughs> to talk with different towers in the range so that's that's the the concept behind the game and it's like hmm that sounds like an interesting atmospheric game what can you actually do with a game where that's the, the limitations or the scope of what you're doing. It's like, hmm, sounds intriguing and very relaxing if it's uh, actually, if they actually uh, implement that aspect of it as well. That it's like, yeah, nothing happening for a long time. <laughs> Might be a little bit like fishing in this game. Okay, you have to click every once in a while, but. It's very relaxing. I've got the master fishing pole as well, so um, I'm not too stressed about the line breaking or any of the, the complicated early game mechanics that might break your line and make you tense about things. It's like even kingfish now um, is fairly straightforward to catch. I wonder if they did the the hypnotizing little circle of the fish swirling as uh, part of their um, I want to say explicit design choices. That it's they partly do it for hypnotizing effect. The the just chill, relax, go deeper and deeper, enjoy the fishing aspect of it. <laughs> I do follow the um, the my time at Porsche uh, subreddit, um, but I've not seen too much about um, I want to say news from the company about what's next. Uh, I'm not a big Twitter user at the moment, uh, 
They might be active on Twitter. The, the Bathia games that released it. Um, I've not seen much activity from them on the subreddit. Some companies actually do do their games subreddit, um, but I don't think I've seen that much from them recently, uh, or from Pathia Games in the subreddit on new activity or new consoles or anything like that. Or what's what's next for my time at Porsche? Are they going to expand the game world, or um, are they going to leave uh, my time at? Uh, Vega 5, oh, one of the other cities in the game. <laughs> Thinking, what? Oh, my time at Porsche 2. Um, or are they just gonna continue adding functionality to the existing game, like um, Stardew Valley added um, like multiplayer and loads of different like mini systems in the game? Whether they were gonna add more stuff in Porsche as well. Golden Salmon! No. Wise fish! More wise fish! More wise fish! Yeah. How about the wiser fish? Yeah, I thought they missed a bit of an opportunity by calling the the kingfish of the wise fish a wiser fish, but not the emperor. They've still called it the emperor wise fish. It's it's almost like they should have called the emperor wise fish the wiser fish, and <laughs> and the kingfish the wisest fish. <laughs> <laughs> if they were going to go for it, they should have gone all all out for it, naming it slightly differently. Because all the other kingfish are like this fish, kingfish, or koi fish, king koi fish. Um, whereas they went for the wise fish, they went wiser fish. Gladiator fish, nice. I was thinking I should make like a um, a short fishing tutorial. There probably is quite a bit on YouTube already, just as a value add thing for uh, for YouTube. Because that's I, I've explained it a few times what I'm doing with fishing. Um, because it took me a while to actually figure it out the first time uh, and how it works. But once I got the basics right, it's fairly straightforward. Find, find, find the purple fishing spot on the map. Have a fishing pole, have some lure, and you're good to go. Uh, keep the white bubble on the fish when it uh, bites. And get the timer down to zero and don't let the red bubble reach the outside of the white bubble white fish ah, 3 a.m. there we go hmm I wonder what the market price will be today I want to have enough fish to actually... Yeah, I haven't got that much. So only 19. I've still had some left over from the previous day and... One kingfish to sell. One that I'm going to put in the tank. If it's still got space. I think it still has space. Um, yeah, a little bit of money to help. <gasps> Mayor Gale! He's got some news for me. Hey Mr. Mayor, why are you in a hurry? I just found out that something happened at the harbor last night. Come on! Come on! <gasps> Emergency. How did this happen? Don't build this harbor. It's definitely intentional. Just look at that sign. <laughs> Someone doesn't want this harbor built. <laughs> look at the sign. I'll bet everything I have it was that toady. That crazy fool. 
He's been against this from the start. Why would he do this? I'll go have a chat with him. Well, this is just terrible. We just finished installing this new warehouse yesterday. Now we'll have to start over again. Hmm. I expected wrinkles. We have enough reserve budget to cover for it. Yes, that's the good news. But we have a problem as well. We had last year we weird by Phyllis, plus 39 air cooling relic for this warehouse. Mr. Moose's people brought it in. There ain't a spare, so... We installed a mint condition air cooling relic for this warehouse. You'll have to figure out something. We can't disappoint Mr. Musa, otherwise we'll never get outside investments again. Impress the investors. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm over here and my horse is at home because I've not ridden him and he was settled for the night. <sighs> Albert, Albert. And I've not got as much speed as my horse. <laughs> this way? Yeah. I'm just gonna pick up a bit of fertilizer ingredients while I'm in the vicinity. So this I think is actually McDonald's farm, right? The animal ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve sheep and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve sheep and one, two, three, four, five, five horses and one, two, three, four, five, six cows and one. Two, three, four, four calves, 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 calves. How do you pronounce it? Calves, calves. Because <laughs> I, I, the singular calf and calves, the plural, because it's spelled slightly differently. Always confused. How do you pronounce the the singular? Calf, calf, calf. Put a bit of a Afrikaans accent on that. <laughs> okay, so let's actually store a bunch of stuff and pick up stuff. We steel plate and eight aluminum plate. So I should now have enough to finish that boat. Let's so put the fish up. The flower has been done. So, next up in terms of agriculture, I want not special giant seed, I want all seasons, something all seasons, because nothing particularly or explicitly grows in winter, but not another season. So, I think currently growing cornball in the other six. So either more cotton, no, not cotton, more wheat, or more rainbow flower. I think I'm going to go for more rainbow flowers. Actually, what's this? Did, yeah. Because I think that was actually rainbow flower that got out of there. And then I can do wheat next time. Okay, I will put that back. Agriculture. Uh, Make sure to get some fish food. Yeah, so this might have bread. Why are they hungry? There's not bread. No, never mind. Let's put a few more in. And this one is going to get another fish in the tank. 
So let's put number five in there. And feed them number four. So now about twenty ish. As long as they don't go hungry. Okay. And put that back. And I will pick up some stone once I've topped up everything. The power lamp, I think I've got more power lamp. Okay. I think I've already got a power lamp in the museum donation box. Let me check. Museum. Uh, power lamp, yeah. Already. But I wanted to just check everything is stacked up and got enough stuff. Charcoal's always at risk of running out, so let's refill and top up charcoal. Okay, uh, I pet the animals. Just my morning routine here at the farm slash workshop. I don't, I'm not sure if you actually need to pet them on uh, when they're already fully grown. It might be something to do with how much they actually then produce in terms of um, produce, uh, in terms of their milk and uh, I think they produce coloured um, fur or something, the sheep. Um, and the chickens and ducks, I'm not actually quite sure what they produce, uh, besides eggs. Uh, more of that. Okay, and I'm gonna take this to there and get a fish tank from there. And that should be a museum thing. Yeah, small assembled item. Okay, okay. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna kick off the paddle boat because I believe I do have enough paddle boat. Boat. Uh, so, two paddles. Let's go and produce two paddles. Exactly, because I don't want to use too much plates. Uh, two paddles. Paddle propellers, sorry, <laughs> not paddle. <laughs> uh, not wind wheel. Paddle. So, two exactly. And can put the panels in a manufactured box. And then I should be able to do this. Yeah, one hour and I can, can come back for this. The reason I'm actually mostly using this, I could build it on the manual assembly side and get it immediately. But I don't like to have to go to my... Um, storage, find each item, put it in, find the next item, put it in, because, yeah, it's getting a bit of a hassle to do that, so I'll just do that, can get a commission, and sell some fish, uh, Mayor Gale, Hi. Hi. I cannot tolerate thieves in my it's town. become my BFF I'll as well, everything in my power to bring this thief to justice, great, Thanks. see you, so, socially, I've now got two BFFs. I have Mayor Gale and Emily are my BFFs. Just, that just means this relationship meter is capped out. So, good friend then becomes best friend. So, Ak is almost at best friend level. Alice got a bit of go way to go. So does Sam and Django. And friend, friend, friend. Okay. So, yeah, still a bit to go for those guys. So, let's exchange. Oh, I just put the stone away. I had some stone that I was going to exchange. Just pick up stone quickly. Museum stuff. Oh, stone, stone, stone. Before I forget, stone. No, stone. Okay. Stone, 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 stone. Okay. Stone. 
Wood for stone, yeah. That's what I want. That is what I want. Elmer, how are oh. you? Who would want to steal something from the research center? Could it be a spy? Could it be a spy? Hmm. Interesting. A spy. Uh, commission. Commission. <gasps> An A star. We at the church need seven composite wooden boards. I hope a boulder will help us soon. My mother earth watch over here. Plus 26. And it's a birthday as well. Oh, I could have done this one as well. Two water storages. <gasps> Except, oh, this is worth so much. 5,000 gold. I, I only saw the one with the ribbon and it's like, take it. It's an A with a ribbon. And the other one was also an A with a ribbon. It's worth so much more. Okay. Um, I am going to get seven wooden storages. Uh, sorry, wooden... Composite wooden boards is what I'm going for. Composite wooden boards. I think I should have it already. Manufactured. Composite wooden boards, yes. Cool. And don't give that to the church. It's also her birthday today. So, let's see how much a difference a gift on her birthday makes. Because it gives you, on a normal day, plus 18, the gift order. I give her, I which is the crystal nice hourglass. On Starlight Island. He's napping, but talking to Thank me. You. Right. Never expected you to give me this. <laughs> um, yeah. So, normally, the crystal hourglass gives you plus 18 in the relationship with Nora. So, if I give it to her on her birthday, which today is her birthday, besides just a commission. Hello! Thank you, and may Mother Earth watch over you. So that's normal commerce commission, so it doesn't give you a bonus on that one, but... We can see Starlight Island from atop the Temple Tower. I've always wanted to go there. It looks beautiful from afar. Cool. How about a gift for your birthday? Happy birthday! Plus 54. Why, oh, you remember my birthday? This is wonderful! Would you like to hey. play? Sure. Um, Central plot. That is close to where I do the best stuff. Uh, let's see. So... Oh, I'm fairly happy. I could actually buy some of this when I've got a bit more money. Or not enough stuff to spend money on. <laughs> Which isn't... I've not reached that stage yet. Let's see. I want to... Can sell some fish. Sell some fish. And it's 81% market price. Uh, yeah, I think the stores in town might actually be able to buy all my fish. Because it's not that many fish. Uh, and market price is lower, so they should be able to afford it. Uh, Alan? Hey! I wonder if there are any new plants I can find on Starlight Island. I'm just chatting to them to get that plus one relationship point. It adds up over time, I think. Do you like a crystal necklace? Is that... Wow, I like it. Nice. And I will take some roses. If you don't mind. Thank you. And get some fish to Martha as well. She loves the fish. There we go. Fish stock sold out. And I am at... Uh, sorry. I... I... 66,000. So I need for the next house upgrade 100,000. So I'm not quite there yet. Okay. Um, I think I was... Was there any special quests? I want to give Sam a gift as well. And then Django, his gift. There's Sam. Hey! 
There are some undercurrents around Starlight Island, so we can't go there on small rollboats. Do you like uh, shrimp and cheese and rice? How thoughtful of you! I really like it. Hi. Uh, cool. Let's, let's do something. Uh, did I give a gift today? Don't think so. Hey, no. Mally has been asking me a lot about the structures of the past. But since I lived in a big mansion and didn't go out much until I was uplifted to the space station, I really don't know much. How about the gift of an engine? I became your best friend. Relationship plus 15. Toby and Arlo also increased. Nice. Uh, let's see. My pedal boat should now be almost ready. Uh, let's see. Pedal boat. Oh, look at that. Pick up. Put it in my pocket. <laughs> and that goes to... Where's my map? To... Emily? Emily and Sonia is over there. Let's go and see. They are probably gossiping about something. Picking up fertilizer while I'm there, or while it's there. <laughs> Let us see. Bonus. Bonus points. <laughs> Oh, look at all this, um, because it's now so... Oh, let's actually pet the animal as well, to make him happy. I've not looked at his loyalty. I think you lose a little bit of loyalty every day if you don't actually pet the animal. I've um, been trying to slowly get that to 100% as well. Good guy. Uh, back. Okay. Uh, then gather. I think this dragon heart's used for a, like an important recipe as well. The pot of hysteria uses hysteria, which is the white flowers here in the desert over there. Um, but the dragon heart, I'm sure, is used for something as well. Starlight Island goes to somebody over there. Hand them the boat. Oh, Antoine. Oops. Very nice. Yeah. Top quality as usual. I'm sure the mayor will be thrilled to see this. I can't wait to go over there and take a walk among the corals. Nice. Military uniform pants, XP, and 10,000 gold. Nice. Uh, let's see. Military uniform pants. Defense 220, max stamina 45. Nice. Military uniform pants. Sweet. Cool. And I haven't got any fish left. Uh, what's market price? 81. Let's buy some golden ginseng. Uh, I have the tiger. Firestone. I don't know what these are used for, but because they're limited quantity and so expensive, I'm tempted to just buy stock to have it. Because if I buy 10, right, it's 8,000. But it's a bit harsh to um, buy that much without knowing what it's actually used for. Okay, I'll leave it. I'll leave it till I figure that out. Uh, let's go and see. I want to actually give the museum stuff. I think I've got a bunch of stuff that they would like. And hopefully that pushes me over the 20 items donate mark. I hope. Um, so that I can get the next storage box, which is the same as the helper storage box, but uh, in terms of size, but doesn't give you a helper access to that. Okay. Let's see. I did the paddle boat. I should have actually checked that whether if you build the paddle boat, whether it's also donatable to the museum. 
Uh, I've been using the charge station. Uh, I was doing the basic stuff. Uh, cooking set, industrial furnace, blender, removal battery. Let's do a loudspeaker. Need a uh, simple circuit, copper coil. I think I've got everything. Yeah, confirm. Cool. Uh, and let's do this. Uh, sort all. Yes. And composite wooden boards can go away now. Let me sort what I've got so far, and then this is there. Uh, museum is. It's the ZD transport which is the dud, which I don't think they're gonna accept. But I can check, which is why I want an extra one. It's one. If I still need that very last one to get the bonus, I might come back for the thing that I've just kicked off. So it's Friday. Museum should be open for a while. Let's donate stuff. Um, oh, now it's small assembled item. So let's find small assembled item. There we go. Uh, small assembled item. Anything small assembled item? Small assembled item. Medium assembled. Small item artwork. Small relic. Medium assembled. Medium assembled, small assembled item. Small relic, small item relic. Small item relic, medium assembled, and large relic. Okay, so what's this? Medium relic. Let's put that there and small item relic. So I've got three small assembled items. Yes. Cooking set, small assembled item, sure. And three. Yes. What's this? A uh, large assembled item. I had one that was a large assembled item, I think. No, just a large relic. Uh, medium assembled item. Okay. Medium assembled item. It doesn't say. Let me actually try this. Just see what it says about the video. This item isn't suitable for display. So that's the error message you get when they don't actually accept it. Okay. Medium assembled items. Medium assembled. Medium assembled. Medium assembled. Medium assembled. Okay. So it's those ones. Yeah. Yes. You get continue to get your points as you donate stuff for the first time. Okay. Medium assembled. Are there there's a few spots still for a medium medium assembled? Yeah. Medium assembled? Yes. Medium assembled, yes. Medium assembled, yes. Okay, so I've done all the medium assembled. Let's see for new spots. Um, got this. What is this? This is a special item relic. I'm not sure I have one. Special item relic. Small item relic, large. No, no special item relic at the moment. What are these? Small item artwork. Small item artwork. I think that was the only one. Small item artwork. Yes. Okay, uh, small item artwork, small item artwork, what's over here? Small item exhibit item. Sort. Small item exhibit item. Small relic. Small item relic. Large relic. Small relic. 
medium relic. Okay. So medium relics, not small item exhibit item. This is large assembled. What are we? Small item exhibit item. Small item relic. Got a few of those. Small. No. Do I have a few of those? Small item relic. Small relic. Small item relic. Small item relic. Small relic. So this is small item and small relic. Medium. Okay. So this. Yeah. Okay. And number three is yeah. Winterdoll. It's probably just the dolls. That's the small item relic. Not just large assembled item. I don't think I have large assembled items yet. Or not to donate. Uh, no. Here it is medium assembled. What's this? Medium relic. So I've got a few of those. Medium. Medium relic. Medium relic. Medium relic. This is large. This is medium relic. Okay. One medium relic. Yes. Two medium relic. Yes. Three medium relic. Yes. Four medium relic. Yes. Uh, five was that a medium relic as well? Ah, that's a sm small relic. Sorry, that's a small relic. There we go. And six power lamp, small relic as well. Yes. Okay. Special item relic. Do I have anything left? I've got a large uh, relic left. Okay. Let's find it. It's probably this corner. Large right? relic. Nice. Look at that. Like wow. And it fit in my pocket. Imagine that. That's this ultra large assembled item. Hmm. Okay. I hope the museum is happy. I think there's upstairs there's a few things as well. What's this? Soldier with blade piece. So this you can also do to get extra red points with people. Um, if you've got those items, or oh, the relic, relic uh, pieces, uh, you can exchange it and get some extra red points. So what's upstairs? More relic, uh, small relic, large relic, small item relic, small item relic. Okay. Okay, and that's the fish tank that you can put in the fish to get the bonus um, stuff that they give for fish donations. It's Emperor Fish and Kingfish, uh, one of each, uh, and you get, get bonus points for that. So, this. So I've donated 31. Okay, so I've, this is what I was trying to get. So let's get 20 item bonus, collect colorful hat, and 30 items. Donations. Okay, so this is safety box. What's this? 250 resilience, 30 percent. Not sure what the resilience is for, though, because it's not one of the stats here. So maybe I'm going to read the wiki what it's about. Okay. So I got to my 30 goal. Let's go and see what this actually means in terms of the item that I can now produce. And I can keep uh, farming stuff. Let's do this. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. So I want to keep farming bug eggs from these Mr. Ladybugs. Because that's the, uh, I want to say, the high nutrient version of the dough for a fish food is a bug eggs. It's about three times more efficient but it's not too not as easy to come by in great quantities if you want to do a lot of fish breeding stuff. Uh, let's see. So I've got a boom box. What's this? Is it a boom box? Loudspeaker. 
that is a museum item. Oh, where did this go? Yeah, medium assembled items. So, museum stuff. Let's start the new version of museum stuff. Okay, and the stuff that we now know the museum does not accept is going to go in items and goods. So, let's sort all. Right, put that in there. Oh, that's already full. Items and gifts. Items and gifts too. So that, uh, that, that, that. That I can keep. That's a gift. A gift. It's food. That's a gift. Keep that. I can actually put that away. Um, what's this? Foie gras. <gasps> Hold on. Why have I not eaten that? Foie gras with orange. So we'll take that. Max hit points plus two permanently. Bubble fish soup, I can put that away because I've got a better item. Uh, let's put that in the food. Three. Uh, I've got that, 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 that's useful, that's useful. Yeah, sort all. Okay. Ah, that DD transport is gonna go in. I don't think I'm actually gonna need it ever again. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, cool. Then, I want to kick off the next thing, which I think is going to be the boombox. Uh, two leather horns. Let's go and see. Two leather horns. Power lamp. Uh, I think I'm maxed out. I don't know. Another power lamp. Uh, leather horns. Two leather horns. Items and gifts. Please go in there. And. Oh. Let me just do two leather horns before I forget. I can only make one. Why? Blue leather. Okay. I can go and farm blue leather. Um, as well as commission the civil corps to give me some blue leather as well. Uh, so, if, so this is what I was going for. Large box made of metal tubes. So if I make craft four. So what this is, is number one. Okay, it doesn't give me any green text to say it can be done to the museum. I think it's just like a normal storage box. So I'm going to put one here, let's put all of them here, doesn't really matter, because I think you can access your uh, inventory from anywhere anyway. Uh, no, pick up, rotate, yeah. So, yeah, so this one also has 60 slots, but your helper can't access this. So, there we go, we've got four storage boxes, we've got the recipe for that. See, my fish is hungry again. Why is my fish hungry? Uh, let's actually make this XXX unused. So the smaller boxes that I'm not using anymore, I'm just moved to the end of the list. Um, so that I know I'm only using the act active one. So this is a temporary one that is used for storing items for sale, or if I've got too much fish to to sell to all the stores, I store it in there. Uh, what did I want to get? Fish food, which is actually in agriculture. Strange enough. <laughs> Let's see. How many fish is in this one? Four. Why do they need so much food? There we go. Take a lot. Take a lot. There is four in this one as well. Take some more. Take some more. And the big one isn't hungry. I've been feeding them a lot. Um, okay. I'm actually going to store tea tables as well because I was using the tea tables as the gift for Gale, and I'm already capped on relationship with Gale, so I'm going to store that as well. So I then keep carrying that around. And then I want to go to the civil corps. And commission some blue leather from them. 
as well as farm some. Can I give Ak a gift today? Let's talk to Ak. So yeah, it grays out if you've already given them a gift. So I've already given Ak his gift for the day. You can also go mining. I'm in need of copper. Hello, Molly. Someone took the relic, but then decided to hand it back. My time here might turn up something interesting after all. Yep. Uh, I wanted to go to the civil cops and commission some stuff. Hus and Tus still in jail. Uh, what did I want to commission? Blue leather. Let's cut this. Uh, I'll do another one for 50, but I want some more warm fur. As well. Because blue leather I can just go and farm. I think they're a fairly frequent drop from those blue slurpy thingies. Um, so I can go and farm that for a bit. <gasps> there we go. That was a chest that I missed out on before I got my horse. Painting the Lonely Windmill. Let me check. What does this give? Small item artwork. Max health plus 15. That's going to go to the museum. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want to go for... Where are they? Those blue slippies. I think they're actually on that side. Let me go there. There we go. Flirpy slurpees. Delicate fur and delicate fur. Wow. And blue leather. There we go. Yellow a bow tie. They've got this annoying freeze as well. And um, they're boss or the twin character that come and defend them which is I think Flurpy or something yeah Flurpy does like an AOE attack which nailed me every time because it's only when you near that he actually does that but it's like a chain attack right um, so you have to every time he activates that attack you have to just get out of range like that and then he moves and then he can go in and stun him and attack and do do what you need to do but uh, if you don't know that attack sequence um, I almost died like a couple of times just to that attack because I wasn't paying attention oh, there's one more okay some more flurpees well, I can go upstairs. I think they are by the um, or up by Bessania Falls. Bessania Falls as well. Uh, let's go that direction. But Bessania Falls, I think, is quick this way. Yeah. Oh, these little fellas. Um, I had a Panmet mask commission, and they give you a uh, unit. I, I, I needed five Panmet masks for the commission and it's only these guys um, that I thought was available at the time. I don't think I had the lift activated yet. Um, but yeah, only like six spawns before I realized there was some year that you can also get some batwings from. The ones that you get on the tree farm is um, friendly, so you can't actually target them. For anything. Uh, where was I going? I was looking for slurpees. Slurpees and slurpees. And pan bats. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. And there. Slurpy! I am stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ugh. There we go. Yeah. 
Happy I'm stuck. I didn't one shot you. Yellow bow ties. <laughs> I've got 12. Should be, should have enough now. Yes. Crystal power stone. Seeing if there's like a secret chest in a corner some, somewhere. <laughs> I was looking at the Twitch um, directory earlier, and my boy does uh, World of Warcraft have a presence again with the, with the WoW Classic launch. <laughs> like quite a lot of the, I want to say, old school streamers um, playing that. So you can see that that's where they probably got their um, love of gaming from. Or one of the reasons they love gaming so much is they played the old school with World of Warcraft. I also played, but uh, yeah, it's a love-hate relationship <laughs> because uh, I've wasted a lot of time, I feel, in the game. It was great, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of the time of my life that I cannot get back. Slurpee! Gotcha. So this is where X space station crashed. Just randomly. Pine car. Oh, Actually been up there. Maybe if you can go up there. There's a Flurpy again. See, he just walks closer and then he does that AoE crying thing, which is actually a meany, mean attack. <coughs> like, it just changed like 21, 21, 21, 21. Super quickly, if you stay in the range. But you have to wait till he moves. He takes like a second to wind up that attack, and then he <coughs> moves again. And if you keep attacking him in that attack sequence, I think it can stun you as well, which is part of the reason it eats into you. It stuns you and then does like, I would say, every quarter second does 20 damage, which adds up quite quickly if you stun. Slurpees, 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 not flurpees. Panda. So 28 blue leather. Very good haul. And I've got the several calls working for me for 50 more. Yeah, see that attack. So then he moves closer and starts the wind up sequence again. Like bosses with telegraphed moves, how outrageous! How dare they make those moves so so painful? <laughs> okay, I think that's it for for now. Can I go over here? No, I cannot. to go through official channels, the official door to the collapsed wasteland. Pick up 
some stuff. Apple and aroma apple, nice. Sword or yes. And that is actually gonna go to the museum. Thank you. Cool. Um, have I got enough stuff going on here? Let's kick off some more fiber cloth. Uh, that one's still doing quality leather, so uh, I've got some new cotton, so I can kick off some rope. Have a bit of stockpile of everything. Uh, the year is fine, year is fine, year is fine. Okay. Uh, power lamp's done. I'll pick that up. What I wanted to make was leather horn. Two. Cool. Then the next one was a boombox build counter. So it takes the items from either your inventory or storage and just goes and do it. And let's put the Cool. I think that's it for my in-game day. I uh, don't think I'm going to go fishing. Even though there technically still is time. Uh, I've already been uh, playing for about two hours. Which is my after stream or after work limit. Uh, let me just show you what I'm doing in the house in terms of items. Um, I'm trying to cap the next level of house upgrade as well, which I've looked at at ANG Construction. It costs 100,000 coals plus a few other items, which I believe I all can manufacture. So once I've got the 100,000 coals, I can upgrade to the next level of the house, which I believe is the maximum, which will take me to plus 400 capped health from furniture, um, 180 stamina, uh, 120 and 120 attack and defense. So I'm already capped on that. So any items with bonuses won't actually give me more bonus than what I've already got, even with the next house upgrade. Which is why I think it's fine for now to actually give stuff to the museum if I'm already capped. Let me check this one. For example, this boom box. Uh, if I say uh, put in inventory was giving me plus eight max stamina. And if the next upgrade is only 180, I can actually take that out. So let's leave it for now and listen to some music in my house. But next time I could actually, once I've done the upgrade, I can confirm and trim down this, the extra bit that I do not need. Like this stuff is, I think, plus defense, um, the crystal clocks. Anyway, um, I'm going to end my stream here uh, once the game saved, which it's doing right now. Um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, I had a good evening, a relaxing, fishing, heavy, uh, my time at Porsche playthrough uh, this evening. And I hope you a pleasant rest of your evening, or day, or however long it remains before you head off as well. Thanks everyone, and bye bye.